Well, I feel rather silly wearing a helmet in the indoors in my studio. However, I thought I'd um, give you folks a little insight into the Honda cam chain lifter assembly for the CRF250L. And why I'm into this right now is because I have had now my third failure. I thought there's got to be a reason why, and I think maybe I've ascertained part of the reason, and I'll, I'll, I'll try and show you that. And I thought maybe it might be interesting for you to see how this actually works. So first of all, let's take off, oh, let's pick up my Allen wrench, and then let's take off this bolt and Right in here, you see there's, if you put a screwdriver in there, you can back that off and you let it go and it pops back out, right? So when you install this or when they install this in the factory, they, they lock it in place. Oops, O-ring, there you go. They lock it in place. Okay, it's locked. Then they install it in the bike gasket, bolts, and once it's in there, they let it go. Theoretically, that takes up the slack in the chain. And the way it works, I will show you by taking this apart. So there's a, a little C or a little spring clip here. Okay, there's the little clip, that's off. And now this pops out and you can see that there's spring action going on there, right? So what it is, is right there. See that coil spring? And I'll show you how that works. So you see <clears throat> this part that extends into uh, tension your chain is female threaded. And then there is a bolt in here, which is connected to the spring. And the spring is connected right here, you can see. Okay. And so as the cam chain uh, loosens up and with wear, so forth, so on, uh, the spring wants to uncoil. And when it uncoils, it turns the screw and turns the screw in this piece here, which extends it into the engine more to tension your chain. So the, um, the whole premise of that is fine and dandy. However, I think what happens is, and this is just supposition on my part, but I think may be correct. And I will show you when I put it back together again. Okay, so we have it all back together again. And what I've noticed is right at the beginning we have a noticeable amount of tension, but as it extends further, the tension becomes almost nothing. And so I think what happens is when this starts its life in the engine, it's fine, but as it wants to adjust, it tends to lose its ability to take up a slack in the chain. That's my theory. Um, a couple of these other ones that went before, 
uh, unlike this one, this one doesn't back off, but the other one's backed off, one of them by about a quarter of an inch. And I, I can't understand how that could occur given the mechanism in there, unless by backing it off that bolt at the bottom wasn't locked in somehow and could just turn back. I don't know. Um, however, that's what it was doing. This one isn't doing that, but uh, I figured that maybe the problem is at the extreme end or, you know, past halfway point of adjustment, it just doesn't have the spring tension anymore to actually push against the chain to take up the slack that's developing. And I think that's what's causing the problem. So anyway, I hope that's as clear as mud. Uh, what I've done is put in this guy. Can you see that? That's the Krieger cam chain tensioner. And uh, that's just basically a bolt. You know, you, you put it in and, and um, you uh, get the engine up against compression stroke before you install it. And uh, then you finger tighten that end of it and pushes that bolt through and takes up some of the most of the slack on the cam chain and then you turn the engine over at the crank bolt um you know in in the proper direction of course make sure you do that don't turn the engine backwards ever 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 anyway um and then you as you turn the engine over you turn that bolt with the other hand and take up any more slack so that's the cold setting. And then what you do is um, start the engine and uh, see how it is. Now, I started the engine and went for a ride. And it was definitely too tight because I heard a whirring sound, you know, at stops when I throttled it just a tad. And uh, that's definitely too much pressure on the cam chain. So what I did was... I backed off. There's a locking bolt here, of course. You know, you can't see it. It's behind the picture. But um, there's a locking bolt. So you just loosen that, and then you... And then I backed off the tension until I could hear the cam chain rattle a bit. And then I increased the tension just enough for the rattle to go away. Locked it down, and uh, that's been fine. So um, there you go. Anyway... You guys and girls, you take care. I, I hope that that made some sense. So um, if you have problems with this Honda cam chain tensioner, as I know a lot of you do, um, yeah, um, I wouldn't replace it with the manual unit unless you really need to. Because the auto units, if they work, they work fine. And, you know, there's no chance of setting it wrong if it's working but if it isn't working definitely try another one of these but if that fails then definitely go the manual route like i did the the thing there is you have to you have to know what you're doing to set it initially and then keep a check on it so anyway take care bye bye